Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 01 November, first Friday, baby. Non-farm payrolls today. For like the 600th time in my career. Um, we recently, we've been in a rut, non-farms. So it's kind of like a wasted Friday. It's been like this for about, I don't know, let's call it uh, eight months or so. We wait for non-farms, but there's no vol, there's no kick, and then of course the morning before nine non-farms, there's no vol and there's no trading action. So it's been really turned out to be a waste of a day for, I would say, most of this year. I'm going to go out on a limb today. I'm going to say that uh, perhaps the market has jumped the shark on this um, and we're looking for some action today. Consensus is sort of, I don't know, let's call it 80,000, 7580, uh, 75.95 is sort of where the consensus lies. Below 50, I think we'll see some action. Uh, why do I think that? basically the um, the yen movement yesterday so let's look at this uh, more in depth we got dollar yen here um, smacked obviously this all started with that Bloomberg headline yesterday which was a bit wonky no real sources uh, it looked like just a bullshit headline made up by a Bloomberg journalist who I don't know, wanted to get short almost. It looked uh, pretty ridiculous. But we went from 30.50 down to 30.38. Screwed around 40.44. Uh, and then, you know, the negativity just persisted. Uh, and it persisted more in yen than it did in ES. Uh, so let's just look at this because this is quite serious, uh, these chart setups here. So obviously, FOMC, we traded up to 28, 109.28 closed at 85 and then this red monster yesterday traded all the way down to 91 through that 10805 level um huge hugely negative um normally this is associated with serious risk off you combine that daily bar with this euro yen bearish engulfed from the highs so if you think about it we've come from basically 117 we go up to 121.50 we're stuck huge selling up there uh, bearish engulfed your neckline here at 37 was just sort of a month end BS move but now it's quite important through 30 uh, so we'll be getting short euro yen today uh, as we will Aussie yen if we get a negative print in uh, non-farm so 50 or lower we are going to smack the pony and look for left hand side bearish and golf there euro yen let's take a look at this Aussie yen we talked about this on Twitter we said this was going to bearish and golf I believe we were around 7490 when we said it uh, it did follow through and do what it did what we asked it to do it closed below 53 this looks bad um, the thing that about bearish engulfing bars and bad news in general you need follow through so this is the scare yesterday was the scare day and now today we need confirmation of the fright so you can't really go into this thing with a truckload of shorts you gotta be patient and look for confirmation now but both of those bars pretty scary um, there's some good irony it happened on Halloween um, whatever that's worth for those of you who are more poetic uh, sort of interesting Swiss yen which is sort of a neutral risk off almost bearish engulfed you could go through all of these kiwi yen i'm sure cad yen is the same um, 
let's take a look at Cad Yen. Well, Cad Yen just had a big red bar, did not bearish from golf, but obviously after the dovish BOC, Cad Yen's been on its knees anyway. Um, so Yen is telling us uh, bad news is on the horizon. ES, on the other hand, is basically screwing the pooch, we should say. We had a chance for a real negative day if we closed below 23. We did not close below 23. You can see we closed at 36. Um, I was short most of the day. Tactically, we resold uh, last night at, at 36. Um, so we are short again. This is what we would call a tepid short, in a sense, a tactical short. We need confirmation um, to bring the hammer down. And that confirmation for us uh, will be 3,000. So hammer goes down through 3,000. We start getting actively short uh, if we can get a new low today. So the yen is telling us shit's on. ES is telling us be careful. Uh, this could be a trap. Gold is not telling us much of anything. We're right in the middle of the range. If gold is going to make a move, we really got to get above 20. Um, but actually, you, you got to get above, I don't know, you got to get above 66 for gold to be really meaningful. We're in this sort of wedge-like uh, sort of constricting vol. This is a redraw, right? How many times can you redraw this pennant? Um, but gold is telling us nothing really in the middle of nowhere. ES is saying nothing's happening here. Uh, but yen is saying, look out, shit is on. Let's go to uh, South African Rand. These guys are fucked. It sucks for them. Um, we're waiting on uh, rating agencies today to see if they uh, actually downgrade or I think step one for a downgrade is they they do like a pre-downgrade. I don't know what they're going to say. It can't really be good. If they do a full downgrade, this thing is uh, going to make an all-time uh, or it's going to make a high for the year. What's the all-time high? 15, 69. Um, Actually, no, 1780. There's no reason this doesn't break these highs here. Um, you heard from the finance minister. They're screwed in every way possible. Um, plus, talk about unreliable boyfriend running the show. Um, leadership sucks. Lots of bribery and graft and, and uh, it's a mess. I'd be careful uh, buying South African Rand. We are square at the moment. Um, it will be untradeable, the Moody's announcement. Typically, they, they come in at uh, after the close. So, but based on the price here, expectation is for some sort of negativity. It just depends how negative it's going to be. Uh, if you want to be cheeky on uh, some sort of knee-jerk negativity, at non farms, you might be able to pick some up around 15 double O. Um, buying dollar rand looks like a money maker going forward. Uh, with all apologies to people who live there, uh, the price of everything is about to go up because your currency sucks. Sorry about that. Let's go, CAD. Uh, pretty neutral day yesterday. I think the market is just a little bit confused. Uh, dollar negativity plus CAD negativity from the BOC kind of put us in this neutral zone. So what do you do when people are selling the dollar and then also people want to sell CAD? What do you do with dollar CAD? I don't know. Um, no dog in this fight. But we thought this might follow through after a BOC meeting like that, and it did not. So if you're long dollar CAD and you did buy between 60 and 30 yesterday, which we talked about, I'd uh, be cautious here. Um, and obviously, 
you know, this is going to be binary on the non-farm scene, but I would, this did not follow through, so just be careful. Anyway, I'm talking a lot uh, ahead of non-farms. There's not really actually much to say, right? Uh, we've got six and a half hours until this, until this release comes out. Get your head right, probably do some fitness, maybe take a short nap, um, make some good strong coffee, and let's get ready to rumble here. We are really leaning on the left-hand side, and we need confirmation. Confirmation for us will be 50 or below. Um, we will look at average hourly earnings if that's a miss, and we need price to confirm viewpoint today. Wicked. Go out there and make some dough, people. New month. Get those engines running. Let's start the month off on the right foot. Good luck out there. I will uh, see you all on Monday.